guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a new day it is tuesday i actually just dropped landon off at school sorry for the lighting it's kind of shitty right now um i just dropped landon off at school and i'm actually gonna head to the gym quickly um i haven't gone to the gym in like three days i took saturday sunday and then i also took monday off i planned to go to the gym on monday but then monday was valentine's day and i just kind of like woke up on the wrong side of the bed i was just like not having it I was just like, I don't know, like really sad yesterday. Um, I am on my period um, and I have PMDD, so it's a premenstrual um, something disorder. Premenstrual something. Pre PM. I forget. It's a premenstrual disorder, basically. Um, and, you know, around my period, um, sometimes like a little bit before my period. Um, and then while I'm on my period, I just get in this really like depressive episodes where I just like, it's just a whole other level of sadness and uncontrollable, like crying. Like, I don't know, like nothing's wrong. I just can't help but feel sad and just overwhelmed and like a huge, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you have it, you know, um, but around my period, I just get really, really, really like sad and unfortunately, Yesterday was a really bad day for me. Um, and then to top it off, <laughs> I get a call or a text from Cameron that he got rushed to the ER yesterday. Um, he fell at work and hit his head on the corner of the car door and then onto pavement and he cracked his head open. So that was fun. That was great news to hear on Valentine's Day. So not only was I having an awful day, but then I ended up having to go drive all the way to base, 45 minutes away, and then pick up Cameron's car. My stepdad, thank God for him, he ended up coming with me because he was actually home yesterday. He ended up coming with me because I didn't want Cameron to drive. And he was like, no, I can drive, I'm fine. And I was like, honestly, it's gonna be more of a hassle for you to take an Uber, try to find someone to pick you up at the, the gate. And if you had to drive 45 minutes home, like with an open wound on your head, like I don't, I don't think so. And he kept saying like, oh no, I'm fine to drive. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with me driving. Yeah, I drove all the way to base and then I picked him up. So I left at four and I don't think I got him till like six. I think it was like six o'clock by the time I picked him up. And yeah, he got, he ended up getting two staples in his back of his head. Um, and there's like, obviously like bubbles in his head. They did a CT and everything. And there's like bubbles in his head from like, obviously an open wound in his head. Um, and like, your skull like there's you know I don't know how to explain it but he's okay thank god like he's okay yeah so he's um he's home right now he's actually with Asher um I was like are you okay with staying with him while I go to the gym and he's like yeah I'm fine um so he's with Asher but I really need to go to the gym I haven't gone to the gym in three days and you know last week I went to the gym actually five days straight so that's the reason why I was like, oh I'll take Saturday Sunday off to like rest and then I'll go back to the gym Monday. And then I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I felt really crappy, but I just, I don't know. I kept saying like, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go. I was just not in the mindset for it. And but I did end up like cleaning my house, organizing a little bit, carpet cleaning my couches cause they were disgusting. Um, but yeah, I, um, I don't know. I, I don't even understand. Like yesterday was just like a terrible day. Um, I did end up picking up a little bit of a click list yesterday. I didn't show like a haul or anything because it was like super late by the time I got home I was able to unload everything. I literally got home and then I had to still do the trash, pick up dog poop at 7 o'clock at night, pick up dog poop, do all the trash around the house. I didn't want Cameron doing anything because like his head was hurting him. He literally just sat on the couch. Um, and then I had to make the kids dinner quickly and I had to eat. I ended up, because I did the click list, I ended up picking up myself like sushi. So I ate sushi and then my kids actually ate some of my sushi after they ate their dinner. Um, and yeah, it was just a crazy night. Um, my life is a mess. I swear, it's the days too that I'm like not having it. That's something else. It's like, what the hell else can happen? Today we're going to be vlogging a little bit. I don't really know what we're going to be doing today, um, but I kind of want to vlog a little bit kind of talk to you guys I do want to talk to you guys later about how I got the boys to start sleeping through the night they're sleeping through the night they're sleeping through the night um, so I kind of want to like talk about that today too because I feel like I finally like I got it like I nailed it with them um so I'm excited I'll talk to you guys about that later but we're gonna go to the gym let's have a great day today so I have to like, put some like tax stuff away anyone else hate taxes I do 
Um, but I've been trying to like slowly get all my stuff. I'm still waiting for my tax form from my last job, which I haven't gotten yet, which I'm surprised because they, I got my like retirement, like um, my, 10, my 1099 from like my retirement thing. But I haven't gotten like anything for my job yet, which I'm hoping that I'll get soon because obviously um, my address is forwarded now um, from that place. I'm hoping that they'll send me like my actual tax information to the correct address. Um, I don't know. But I'm just trying to like file some stuff right now. I'm trying to like clean up everything. Um, Karen's playing Xbox instead of his head hurt, but. I'm trying to like I just did like a load of laundry, switched over a load, doing another load. Um, I am filing some stuff like that. So I added like his like cute little. How do you know it? what baby? You want a color? Okay. You want to rip out a page? This one? Chase. Chase. Here we go. You put this one back. Um, thank you so much. Um, I have like all of like lid and stuff that he's done in school. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I do throw some of them out. Uh, but some stuff is just like too cute to throw out. Um, like I can definitely throw that out. That's like not even real. Um, but like, how cute. <laughs> um, he's, this thing he drew a while ago, he painted it, and then they actually did this thing where you can um, print out your kid's drawing, and I didn't do it. Um, another one? Buzz now? This one? This one? You said this one. Buzz. So, but I didn't buy it, but there's just stuff, like, he did a cat, I could throw this out, because Asher actually looked it. Um, but I just love it, I love looking at it, I love it so much, but look, that doesn't belong in here. Um, like, he did his own map, and just stuff like that, I just love it so much, I love seeing because he's really earned, like, this is probably my favorite thing ever. This is like a forever memory. How stinking cute is this, you guys? Look at him. Stop focusing. Can you focus on this, please? Because look how stinking cute. So if you don't know, in New Mexico, Balloon Fiesta is like a huge, huge deal here. Um, and they made that after your own Balloon Fiesta. I thought it was so cute. Um, so yeah, I just have like all his stuff here. Um, this little turkey that he made at school. His little acorn hands. This is something I will always keep to, like what I'm thankful for, and it's actually laminated. So it's just super cute. I love it. Um, I do throw out some stuff, like that I know I'm like this doesn't. It's not a huge deal, but I do love to keep a lot of this stuff too. I think it's just like such a fun memory to look back on. My mom kept all my memory stuff, so I would like to keep my kids too as much as I can at least. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I definitely Me. what? Me. I'm being mean because I won't let you color on my table. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, I've been looking, actually I have a dentist appointment, um, so it's Tuesday today, I have a dentist appointment on Monday, getting another root canal consultation, they possibly have to fix it, so that should be fun, I need to actually pay a bill, or I should probably pay all my bills right now, and I don't want to, I hate paying bills, I just want all the money and no bills, I want to live free from them. I need to edit my video for tomorrow's upload. Next month is everyone's birthday, my mom's, Landon's, and Cameron's. And then, um, actually, my best friend actually comes to town next month, too. She's coming for Landon's birthday. And I can't wait. I haven't seen her since yeah. last May. Yeah. So, yeah. wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the deal. So. I need to actually get out down for a nap soon. It's 11.30. What? Can I rip another page? 
Do you want to do this one? Yeah? Here you go. He's just going to be ripping out the pages. I'm not actually going to put it inside the page. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to make him some lunch, make me some lunch. I'm like starving. I had a sweet roll when I came home. The best sweet roll I've ever had in my entire life. I made it um, from the Magnolia cookbook. Um, and it's the blueberry sweet roll with a lemon glaze. It was delicious. I didn't film it. I made it actually the other day. Um, and I want to make more. They were so good. Kind of a little time consuming, but not too, too bad. Um, but so good. So good. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm folding some laundry. Making a cup of coffee. I got Asher down for his nap. Um, he's actually been sleeping for like a half hour now. Um, but I was talking to Cameron, and my cousin FaceTimed me, um, and we are chatting. But <clears throat> let's talk about how I got my kids to finally sleep through the night. So if you're new here, I have a two-year-old, and then my oldest is about to be four next month. And my almost four-year-old, I'm just going to call him four, um, he's always been an awful sleeper since he was born. Um, he's, he was just never a good sleeper, nothing. So, um, he kind of, I feel like he kind of like goes sleeping, starting to sleep, and then he regressed kind of like once I had Asher. Um, and he, Lana was like 21 months when I had Asher. So he kind of regressed a little, and he started sleeping in our room, and then we ended up putting him on the floor on a mattress in our room. And then we're like, no, you need to figure out how to sleep. And then... Um, Cameron deployed and he kind of slept in my room a lot because it was just too much for me to deal with an, like an infant like Asher was like months old and then deal with like putting the other one back to sleep so he slept with me a lot I know um but he slept so it was whatever also by the time that Cameron left he was actually fighting night terrors too so he would actually like wake up screaming crying and not really remember like know what was going on and um then just go back to sleep so he was also fighting night terrors, which was fun. Lana also had every single sleep regression, so it was just crazy. But he just wasn't a really great sleeper. Um, but then I kind of, you know, it was kind of my fault too because um, I nursed him to sleep. And then both my kids were kind of like that. And I don't believe in the cried out method. I think it's really mean. Because um, if you're crying, you are crying for a reason most of the time, right? Um, and, you know, no one likes to be alone. And I think wanting someone to sleep with you is a normal feeling. Um, like, I know me as an adult, I like Cameron to be in bed with me when I'm sleeping. Like, I hate going to bed when he's not there. And when he was deployed, it sucks, you know, when he wasn't there. And it was nice to have my kids in bed. During that time that Cameron was deployed, Asher slept perfectly fine. He slept in his bassinet until... He was old enough to sleep in the crib. And then once he was sleeping in the crib, he would sleep in the crib most of the night. And he would wake up like once to nurse at night and then he would go back to bed. So I'm in bed now, but so yeah, he lay Asher like slept perfectly fine until Cameron got home from deployment. And then um it was kinda like weird, but Cameron was only home for like two months and then we moved to a rental house. And we moved to a rental house because we actually sold our house and we were waiting for this house to be built. The way it worked was the people who wanted to buy our house wanted to move in like ASAP because they were also, I'm pretty sure, like they just moved there and they needed a house like in 30 days. So it's kind of like one of those closings that we did. And we ended up moving into our realtor, which was also my coworker, his house. Um, he, he was going to rent it out anyways. And he was like, you know, you guys can just live there for two months. And that's what we did. So we moved there for like two months. If that, yeah, it was two months. I paid two months rent. Um, and like, I think the rental like really screwed them up because it was a completely new place and they were kind of already having like a hard time sleeping and I kept trying to have them sleep in their own rooms and I was just not having it. I think what also made it really hard for them too was, like I said, it was a new place. Their room wasn't set up. It was just like a mattress on the floor. Like there was no point of us setting up anything since we knew we were leaving. They would still sleep and when it came to, um, finally getting them to sleep, they would end up sleeping on the mattress in our bedroom. And it was like the only way we can get them to kind of sleep, at least in their own bed. And they would do it most of the night. Asher ended up crawling into my bed halfway through the night, and that's just what it was. We moved here, and we moved here 
they started sleeping weird so they ended up having to sleep upstairs so our bedroom's on the main floor and their bedroom is actually right above us so they're on the second floor but they're right above us like I can literally hear as soon as they get out of bed they oh. were actually sharing a full-size mattress because we were waiting to get their bunk beds in and order it and buy it and then all that so they were actually sharing a bed and I think because of that it helped them sleep a little bit because they knew that they were together and they were fully alone um and they were like sleeping through the night like they were they went like a couple weeks sleeping through the night and then there was a little bit where Lana was just doing a great job and then Asher was the one who was waking up halfway through the night and coming down or crying for me to go upstairs whatever the case was but that's kind of what, it, what was happening um but it was fine it was still I was like you know what he's still learning still new place you know whatever in my head I kept thinking like as long as Lana's sleeping it's fine Lana's sleeping it's fine he started like Asher started getting like night terrors or something where he was just screaming in the middle of the night and then they got to the point where they needed me to sleep with them in bed like Asher would literally physically need me in bed with him to sleep and he was still nursing at the time and then we finally got bunk beds and Lana was on the top bunk and Asher was on the bottom and Lana was actually sleeping through the night again because you know he was he can't really see what was going on but he was scared to go to sleep and he made sure that you had to be in the room with him while he fell asleep and you know that's not a great sleep association like you know that you need someone in the room with you to fall asleep it's not great but it just what I just need to do what it was just to get him to sleep um and he was sleeping through the night for a little bit there and then Asher was sleeping in his own room in his own bed but he would need me to sleep with him and it was just like you know annoying because I couldn't sleep in my own bed or I would sleep in my bed half the night then I have to go upstairs and he had a few nights like in between that he would actually sleep through the night but for the most part I had to sleep in bed with him or um, he would come downstairs and sleep in our bed. And, you know, they were doing great for a while there, but then all of a sudden, both of them started coming downstairs. And then Landon was going through a, I don't, I'm scared, I had a bad dream. And it was just like, what the heck, like, what do you mean? Like, this, no, like, no. Landon's always been kind of on and off with like, the sleeping situation. The older he's getting, he's been better, but still, like, he just, I'm scared, I don't want to be alone, is his big concern. For Asher, his biggest thing is that he needed me physically there to sleep with him. There would be times where I put him to bed and then he would wake up when I'm showering or something and Cameron would have to go up there to soothe him and he would flip out even more that the fact that Cameron went in there instead of me and it was just like, oh my god. Um, so it was just like, he was just having a really bad connection with I have to be there to sleep with him because in reality, all he's ever had was really me because Cameron was gone and I've always been the one to help him go back to sleep. So that's a good mm. Like 1.30 is usually when I leave the house. 1.40 is the latest that you have to leave. Because you have to pick him up by 2. Why? Do you want to come here? Do you want to come show the vlog your your, your head? Huh? Do you want to come show the vlog your head? That's beautiful. I know. I'm talking to them right now about how we finally got the kids to start sleeping. You know, see Cameron's little scar. It looks so gross. Um, yeah, there's he got some staples. I'm, I'm capable of hurting you like that? And then Rob said, man, if you want to dodge Ruthie on Valentine's Day, you could have just told her no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's just been, it's just been kind of hard. And I know, you know, me and Cameron will kind of like sometimes like bicker back and forth about it. And like, not like he's directly saying it's my fault, but in a way he's just like, I don't help the situation because I won't let them just cry it out where Cameron's just like just let them cry it out like let them get over it like you just need to put them to sleep and like shut the door and that's it and for me I'm like I think that's really inhumane I think that's really mean I don't think that's like a really nice way of approaching it I think you're kind of just creating in their minds like my parents don't care and they're just they don't care you know they don't care and I know a lot of people do the cried out method I get it it's just not for me uh, I know the Ferber method is another great method where it's crying it out, but like it's shorter intervals. And I have tried that before. So I'm not saying I've never tried it before. I have tried that before when Landon was really little. Um, it just never worked for Asher. Like Asher goes blue in the face. He will stop breathing, crying. Um, so, but Cameron is like different. Like he's just more like just shut the door, let them cry it out. It's fine, like whatever. And then me, I'm like, no, like I think that's not nice. And so I kind of, 
I don't want to say created the habit, but in a way created the habit of them needing me to fall asleep. Because that, that way it was just kind of the only way for me to get them to sleep. Um, and then finally I was like, you know what? I am, I'm done. I'm so done. I was so tired. I was like, I just can't do this anymore. Um, they were waking up more and more at night. They were both waking up now. They were both coming down the stairs, sleeping in our bed every single night. And, you know, if we do end up having another baby, like I can't have two toddlers in my bed with also a newborn like in my room. No, I can't do that. Like I can't, I can't do that. And it seems like, like Landon is only, Landon's four now, gotta be four, and then Asher's two. So we're trying to like nip that habit in the butt while Asher's still little. And I was like, you know what? Like me and Cameron sitting there, we're talking about like different things that I could do. I wanna like nip that habit in the butt while Asher's still little because I can't go through another two years of Asher doing the same thing that Landon's doing. And I know every kid's different. Landon's very attached to me, very attached to me. Asher's attached to me too, but Landon has like, I don't know how to explain it. Landon's like always really needed me where Asher just more like, I think likes the idea of me there physically. But um, I was like doing research and stuff like that. And I know a big thing is sleep association and they, they in their mind think I need to be in the room physically for them to fall asleep. And I'm like, you know what? I think that's the problem because if they fall asleep with me there, they're going to wake up. And if I'm not there, then they're automatically going to go on a fright, fright fight mode. Is that the right word? A fright fight? I don't know. They're going to freak out and then they're like, oh my, where's mom? And then they have to like start crying and Instead, if they fall asleep without me physically there, they see that I'm not there, they kind of wake up, they'll kind of just like roll back over and go to bed. So, um, every night when, or every time, and I started with nap time first, and then we did it with nighttime, and then it kind of just like clicked, and we've been almost a week and a half now sleeping. Perfectly fine. Um, last night was a little rough. Um, Asher woke up twice, and one of the times that he woke up, he ended up waking up Asher and Asher came, uh, Lana came down too. And that's the shitty part about bunk beds is that when, or when they share a room, one wakes up, the other kind of wakes up too. Um, but I ended up just bringing them back upstairs. I was like, you're okay. Tucked them back in, gave them kisses, walked back out of the room and they went to sleep. So when so, it comes to bedtime or nap time, what I've been doing is we have a hatch machine. We've had the hatch sleep machine since Lana was a baby. Um, and it's great because actually it's a sound machine. It has different sounds, different like, uh, like lullabies or like sounds like water, nature, whatever. And it also changes color. So there's different colors that it can turn into and all that. So you can set timers on it. I'll link it down below for you guys if you are interested. But I've had it since Lana was little and it's worked all these years. But we've always played it because Lana's a really light sleeper so he needs some kind of like music. Um, and then Asher's just kind of used to it. But a couple months ago when I was actually at the rental house, I ended up changing it where it was like red at night and then it would turn yellow when it was wake up time because I thought like yellow is the sun whatever um so that was like wake up time um and then uh when we started like oh I want to say like a couple months ago here too it's always red at night so from 7 30 to 6 it's actually red and it stays red and then at six o'clock it'll actually turn green, which this is backwards, green, as in it's okay to be awake, but you need to stay in your room until it's seven. Um, and then at seven, it turns yellow. And the reason why that yellow is at seven is because that's the time that we've always had as like a, a wake up time. But like I wanted them to get in the habit of just because you wake up, like if it's, if it's still red, that means it's still bedtime. Um, if it's green, it's okay that you're awake. Like I know sometimes, you know, you wake up early sometimes, that's fine, but you need to lay in your bed until it's actually time to wake up just because sometimes like Asher especially he'll fall back asleep so um and then yellow is like it's time to wake up like this is what started our day blah 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 um and you, there's different sounds too so like all night long it's like a lullaby type of music and then at six it's actually like bird chirping and then at seven it's also bird chirping um and then I feel like that kind of helps too because they can associate with like it's okay to be awake it's bedtime like I should be sleeping all right let's get out of bed type of times and I think that help that's helpful um, and then also, you know, I make sure that let them pick up their PJs, um, tuck them in. They each have bears, like stuffed animals that they like to sleep with. I let them pick which one that they want. Sometimes they want more than one. I let them pick it and put it in bed. Um, the past couple nights, they've been wanting their own books. Depending on the night, I will read a book to them. But if it's already too late and I'm like, nope, it's time for bed, like 
you can read a book by yourself in bed if you want. I will let them lay in bed with their book and then they'll kind of read their book until they're done. And I kind of just like tuck them in, kiss them lots of times, lots of hugs. And then I kind of like, you're a big boy, like you can sleep, like you can do this. Mommy will see you in the morning. I'll I'm like, you. I'll see you when the light turns yellow. Um, like, Good night, I love you. And then they'll say like, I love you. And like, I, I love you. We're just constantly saying it. And as I'm saying it to them, I'm like slowly walking out of the room. And the biggest thing for them is their room is upstairs, so our loft is right outside the room. And they tell me to sit on the couch. So they know where I am. Um, they know I'm not going anywhere until they fall asleep. So, and they'll tell me constantly, like whenever I'm saying goodnight, they're like, you're going to sit on the couch. And their ca the loft and the couch is right outside their room, so they know I'm like right there. Um, and then Asher is always pretty quiet. I can see him through my monitor. Um, and he's just kind of like, lays there and his eyes are just like super open and big and like kind of just stares at the monitor but then Landon is the one who'll be like I love you and then 10 minutes later he'll be like I love you and like good night Landon and then eventually he'll just fall asleep too and that's what we've been doing I like knew what was triggering them to not fall asleep or when they were sleeping what was causing them to wake up and I think that's what it was was the sleep association of I need to be there for them to sleep and so now that we broke that habit of me not physically being there. They don't look for me when they wake up. The, the first couple nights that they did it, we really praised them. Like one night we got them donuts the next day for being such a good boy. The next day we got them, I, think, I want to say it was like candy or something, like chocolate or something like that. And we were kind of praising them at first because like we want them to know that this is good. Like this is a good thing that you're sleeping. Like you're a big boy. Like you're, you know, you're doing great. And I think that kind of helps too. Like bribery kind of works in a way. Um, and... Now they've been sleeping just fine. Asher goes down for his nap just fine. And then Lana's been doing really good too. A couple nights when he woke up one time, he was just like, I don't want to be alone. I'm like, but you're not alone. And he's like, well, I had a bad dream. And, like, and I think for him, he just really just likes our bed and likes to sleep with us. But like, you're going to be four. Like, you're a big boy. Like, you can't sleep with us. Like, like me and Cameron, we're even like shocked some nights that we're like, sometimes like he's up there already, like on the couch, like playing Xbox or something. Cause like, that's usually where he plays. And, like, I'll sit there, like, waiting for them to go to sleep. And sometimes Asher, like, falls asleep, like, instantly. Sometimes Landon's the one who has a little bit of trouble. But school nights, he falls asleep instantly. The other nights, he has a little bit more, like, it takes him a little bit like, longer. But no crying, no tears. And that's, like, for me, what's important. Because, like, I don't want to do that whole crying thing. Like, I can't do it. Like, and then also, there's been nights where I've gotten really frustrated with them, like, trying to fall asleep. Because I'm, like, I just want to do my own thing. Like, I'm tired, too. And... Now it's just been great, like amazing, amazing. So um, that's just, that's all we did. I know I was talking about it on my Instagram, like when like this was happening and I was like telling them like what was going on. So many people were like, what are you doing? My kids aren't sleeping still. And I'm like, I think I hit the nail. Oh, no. I think all kids are so different. So. Um, so this one woke up from a snap. I was actually checking the monitor just to like, check on him and he was just laying there with his eyes open so and he wasn't crying i'm telling you guys something clicked with him and he's just doing good what do you got in lunch um karen just texted me he's on his way home from picking up landon he said landon's in a really good mood yeah. what yeah. hulk hulk mm -hmm. no yeah. toy story toy story yeah. this one yeah. okay uh he said landon's in a really good mood today um so um, and it's really, really nice out. So I think we actually may take the kids for a police ride around the neighborhood and then possibly to the park right here. I don't know yet, but we'll see what we do. Right? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say, I slept good. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just editing um, for tomorrow's video. I'm, like, delayed on it, but it's, like, um, I have like 15 minutes of footage still to edit, but Q and A's. I just ramble, so it's hard. But we're just waiting for Brabra to come home. Yeah, waiting for Brabra. You miss him? <gasps> What's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Is it lamp? Is he jumping? Yeah. Jump. Yeah. I have a pimple on my chin. I always have a pimple. What are we watching? Toy Story! This is their favorite movie. Toy Story, Encanto, 
Tangled. I don't know why. It's like Lana's favorite Tangled. Gonna go on a please car ride? Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Wait, we gotta take this off. Ashley's gonna drive? No, me. Oh. Alright. Where is the remote? Oh, you got it. Cool. Okay. You excited? You okay? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. You're gonna go 98. You're gonna go really fast. Yep. It's beautiful out. Ugh. So we went for the walk. We ended up putting some meatloaf, making it quickly. Um, Cameron ended up cleaning up upstairs for me. The loft was a mess. And the kids, um, and there's just like toys everywhere. So that's all cleaned up now. Um, and so now we are going to be, I'm trying to clean this up. Um, so now I'm just cleaning up the front office quickly because there's stuff from Ash earlier. Um, and the boys are having some tablet time while dinner is cooking. <sighs> and we're gonna eat. And then kind of just like relax. Um, Karen's head really hurt, so go figure. Um, he's showering now, trying to wash the gel out of his hair. Like he's like nervous because like his staples. But um, yeah, I'm making meatloaf for dinner. So we have that with mashed potatoes and then I think I have a veggie somewhere, so I think I'm going to try to make a veggie with it. I think I'll finish editing my video for tomorrow. Sorry, that was just obnoxiously loud. Look at my Asher. My Asher just is constantly coloring on everything he's not supposed to color on. Um, but yeah, I have to finish editing my video for tomorrow still. still. Um, and then I need to edit that, upload it, because that's tomorrow's video, and then, I don't know if Kara's going to feel up to go in the gym with me tomorrow, but I need to go, I need to shower still, um, fold laundry, I have a load of laundry, if fold, it's a big load, um, that's really it, so, I think I'm going to end the video here, you guys, um, nothing too exciting, um, I think I talked enough to talk about the sleep thing, talking about Cameron um so yeah I'm gonna end the video here I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I'm not sure yet I'll let you guys know you'll see it if I do but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you in the next one yeah.